I've salmon fished for quite a while. I actually caught my first salmon when I was a little kid here at Vernita. I'm usually running on five to six hours of sleep maybe. I'm up at three every morning. They always ask, how do you do it? How do you do this day in and day out and get up so early and fish for so long? I want to get them, whether it's hunting, fishing, whatever. My job to uh, to put scales on the deck, I guess you would say. If we get a fish on, I'm gonna tell you guys, everybody else to reel up. I'm gonna reel up to eight on that line counter. When you do that, you'll be able to lift straight up on that rod and swing the weight and the flasher in, and you just hang on to that stuff. I just have a little bit different drive than a lot of people. There's lots that, you know, they don't want to fish in the wind, they don't want to fish in the rain. Lots of people don't want to fish when they don't think it's going to be good. I'm still here every single day, and whether it's good or bad, I'm going to find a way to get them. I think, you know, that's the only way to get better. You're not going to get better when it's easy. You're going to get better when it's tough. Eight. Eight? Alright. All the way down that weight. Okay. All the way down that weight. Lift that rod tip straight up. Lift and lift, lift. Oh, Alright. Okay. Gonna let out to seven on the line Okay. Or eight. One down. Alright. 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 What do you I haven't seen you guys in a while. Let's just get a double. I mean, the heck with just getting one. I appreciate it. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, there's another one. It's a cool area just because of the history of Hanford. It's a little bit more scenic. So up here you have the white bluffs. All the reactors at Hanford that you get to see, those are kind of cool. So when you get here, you're not going to panic, you're not going to stop reeling, you're going to reel all the way until that weight gets to the tip of the rod. So literally all the way. Yep. Okay. Yeah. We'll try and keep them on your side of the boat too. Make sure you go all the way to that weight. <laughs> all right, not quite ready. <laughs> When you were like, so you're not gonna panic when you bring it in. <laughs> <laughs> I started sweating a little bit that point. <laughs> it's his first salmon. I've been there for, you know, probably hundreds of people's first fish, first goose, first duck, um, little kids to, you know, all ages really. And I think to see it and see that excitement is a little bit refreshing because lots of times we get so caught up in, oh, just we'll go out there and get our fish and go home. Uh, but these people have never experienced the stuff that we experience every day. Yeah, this, is, this is 
whole section through here is beautiful. We're here to catch fish. Yeah, I get it. Some days we don't, and it's still got to be fun, but our goal is to catch fish for our clients every day. Yeah, it's probably the same fish laughing, but I'm going to bite the red caps, guy. Ah. There was one guy earlier this year, and he was an older gentleman from Idaho, and he had been on three different trips with other guides up and down the Columbia for a salmon. And he had never got one, he got zero on every trip, and when he finally got his fish with me, I thought the old boy was going to cry. He was so excited and so emotional that he finally got a salmon. People seek salmon so bad over every other fish for some reason, and uh, he was so excited to finally get one, and he assured me he will be back. Get all the way to that way. Fish. Yeah, I really hunted on that road. No, you gotta tell like, them. Yeah, eight or, nine. eight or nine tries here. I'm the owner operator of Plug Off Outfitters, a guided fishing outfitter in eastern Washington. We do salmon, sturgeon, walleye, and we fish everywhere from Astoria, Bowie Ten, on the Columbia, the Deschutes, the mouth of the Klickitat. 